Well, howdy there, team. Welcome back to the latest episode. Um, today, obviously, we are in the car, which means I'm super excited because I'm finally I'm going to take you on a road trip. We are going out to the University of Queensland Gatton campus, uh, and I'm going to show you the turf trials that I've been part of and sort of talk you through what's happening there. Um, yeah, let's go for a drive. I'm not going to film the whole thing while I'm driving because that would be that would be dangerous. And I'm female, so I'll probably hit something on the way anyway without a distraction. Hey guys, welcome. I'm now currently at the Coochgrass trial site at the University of Queensland Gatton campus. Um, so this trial site, as you can see, we've got a bunch of plots of turf. These are all Bermuda grass or green cooch plots. So the turf varieties involved in this particular trial are Iron Cutter Elite Hybrid Bermuda, Toma 31, Tiff Tough Hybrid Bermuda, Santa Ana, and Wintergreen. Um, so basically all of the green cooch varieties that are sort of available, readily available on the Australian market, um, and also some of the top forming turf varieties in America are all part of this trial as well. So there's a number of blocks as well. So each sort of strip is a block and you have the one, two, three, four, five different turf types in each replicate. Um, and then you can see that there's one, two, three, four, five, six overall. Now this trial site is actually, it's not my trial site or anything like that. So I'm part of independent data collection here. Um, that's sort of my involvement in this trial. The trial site actually belongs to Turf Breed My Home Turf. So these are the guys who are responsible for bringing Iron Cutter Elite Hybrid Bermuda over. And so I guess from their perspective, they want to learn how their turf variety performs against others and what they sort of need to know in the different climates and how it performs under different nutrition and, and chemicals and things like that. So R&D is obviously very, very important to them. This same trial has been replicated down at Yarraben in Victoria. Hopefully I might maybe be able to visit there and show you that trial site as well, but they're sort of running simultaneously, same turf varieties involved. So I think it, they're gonna get a really good snapshot of how these turf varieties perform in different parts of Australia as well. Currently we bring in, and by we, I mean uh, the Australian turf industry, different companies bring in turf varieties, mostly from America. So most of the turf breeders are actually over in the US. Um, and so that's where Tiff Tuff, Toma 31, Iron Cutter, a lot of those newer turf varieties, the hybrids and the ones that are sort of really pushing the envelope in terms of drought tolerance and all those great characteristics, they're actually being bred in the US. Now the turf industry in the United States, they have this thing called NTEP, um, which I believe stands for National Turf Evaluation Program. So if you're a turf company in the US, you basically, you pay a fee to enter your turf variety um, into these trials and the trials happen all across the US and then they basically give all this data back to people to then use as their own marketing and, and things like that. Um, so in Australia, we don't have an NTEP. We don't really have like that independent governing body that run these trials. So each company is responsible for their own research and development. So hats off to the guys at Turf Breed and My Home Turf for, for seeing the value in running trials like this. Um, and, and just based on some of the posts I've put on the socials, I think a lot of the general public are very keen to see how, what happens in this trial. Um, 
So I'm gonna get a couple things ready. I'm gonna start showing you today what this trial is about, how it's laid out, um, what we're actually looking at in terms of um, collecting data and what I do out here on a weekly basis. And so just to talk you through the trial, there's a bit going on. Obviously the major variable is the different turf types, but basically running in this direction, we have 100 kilos of elemental nitrogen running in this strip. In this middle strip is 200 kilos and in this far strip is 300 kilos. So there's three different nutrition rates. So all nutrition on this trial is done by ICL. Um, so Will Pierce has actually had a look at growth potential and everything and has mapped it to the specific sites. Then in this direction, um, you'll see we've got two cut heights. So we've got a cut height with a rotary mower. So this is at about 25, 30 mil. And then over on this half of the plot, running this way, is a cylinder mower cut height of about 12, 12 and a half millimetres. So it's sort of seeing how they both respond to different cut heights, different nutrition rates, and then to add an extra layer of complexity, we've got PGR. So we're using the Syngenta product, so Syngenta are part of this trial as well. Primo Max 2, which is the new formulation. Um, so if you were used to using Primo Max, the original one, um, that's been reclassified. So now they've brought out Primo Max 2. So it's exactly the same rates and everything. It's just a different carrier uh, to make it a safer sort of formulation. So Syngenta are applying straight down the middle of the strip. So in these subplots, basically you're gonna have PGR, no PGR, PGR, no PGR. So I'll see if I can do a bit of a, a bit of a graphic up there to show you the layout of the trial, but it is fairly busy. So when we are collecting data, we're collecting it from these little subplots. So within each actual turf plot is going to be 12 different points for data collection. So it is a little bit busy, um, but that's why it takes so long to actually collect data here. Okay, so in terms of data collection, I'm probably not going to go through the methodology as much because um, I think that's a whole episode in itself. I might do that if I get to get down to Yarra Bend. Uh, but I'll talk to you about the tools and equipment that we're sort of using to conduct the trial. So we use the height prism to get our vertical height growth. So those uh, readings are taken three per subplot. Um, and then we're able to sort of get an average from there. But in terms of vertical growth, we're using height prisms to determine that. Uh, we're also looking at color of each plot and each subplot. So in order to do that, we've taken out the, I guess, guesswork out of it. So we're using the Green Seeker. I know I showed this to you last episode. This is an NDVI uh, device that you basically hold at hip height you take it across the area that you want to measure and it gives you an actual uh, measurement. So again, same thing, we're doing this across each of the plots as well to get NDVI values for green color. In addition to that, we've also got an NDVI drone, uh, which is super cool. It takes, it's, it's auto mapped, takes an auto flight and takes a bunch of high resolution images with a special NDVI camera. And then after the fact that's able to be sort of processed and we're able to get data from that as well. And then uh, Syngenta, as you do have a satellite, <laughs> standard. Um, so they'll be getting NDVI measurements at the start and the uh, conclusion of the trial as well. So that'll be added to that. Um, and then finally, there's three of us collecting independent data. So myself, uh, Will Pierce from ICL and Dr. Brett Morris from Syngenta. We meet out here monthly to then give turf quality ratings as well. Those are the parameters of, of data that we're sort of collecting. And then um, throughout the duration of the trial, we'll be taking some plug samples as well to get thatch measurements and things like that to see how they stack up. 
But there's a bit of a snapshot guys as to what this trial involves. Big thank you to the guys at Turf Breed slash My Home Turf for allowing me to, doc first of all, be a part of the trial, uh, but also to document the whole process and hopefully I'm able to share some results with you along the way as well. Um, just having the opportunity to come out here um, especially once a month to be in the company of both uh, Will Pierce and Dr. Brett Morris is, I've been making like a sponge. I feel sorry for them already because it's like 50 fast questions in the first two minutes that they're here. Um, but they've been so giving of their time and, their, and sharing, sharing their knowledge, uh, which I really, really appreciate. I've learned so much already and I've, already, and I've got a long way to go as well, but um, absolutely loving being part of the trial. Please let us know in the comments what sort of data you'd like to see or what you'd like, me, what you'd like to see me cover in future episodes. As I said, I will be coming out here obviously quite regularly. If I get time, I will film more content. Um, and I'll try to film some content down at Yarra Bend's site as well. But if you've got any questions about the trial, feel free to comment and I'll do my best to answer them. Super excited to bring you more content shortly. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time on Lawn Care Australia. Mm -hmm.